Well, it's the middle of March here in central Oklahoma, and it's time to get the onions planted. All right, so like I was saying, it's time to plant our onions in here in central Oklahoma around this time of the year. Uh, it's mid-March, you know, it's the daylight savings time just kind of went through. So now it's time for us to get our onions planted. We've tried to plant them earlier in, in the season and just the cold weather just snaps and gets them and switched the last couple of years. So we've kind of planted them a little later and we've already planted some in this bed right behind me. And this is the remaining ones that we have, and this is how we're gonna do it. So we get these onion sets at uh, dixondale.com, and we got some red onions and some sweet onions, and um, they come in a big pack. I don't know how many is in here, maybe 25, 30. And they're just held together by a rubber band. And if you have a good little onion plant like that, and then it's just us, we're just gonna stick them in the ground. We usually go about every two inches. We get them in really close and tight. And as the season goes along and they get bigger and bigger, then we'll come out and start picking the ones that are like kind of like in between each one. And those are the ones that we eat in our kitchen for meals and those kind of things. So let's get these planted. All right, so we're gonna plant these onions in one of our big raised beds. And, um, and these things are filled kind of like a hugoculture kind of system. Uh, it has logs, compost, and then some soil and then we make we make up a super soil and uh, if you guys haven't seen that video of us making it i'll uh, put a card up here and then we're going to make a new one that's going to come out about exactly how we fill these up um, how we make the super soil so keep tuned there'll be more videos coming out shortly on those kind of things but so let's get these things planted so like i was saying we keep them about every two inches apart from each other and so our soil is super nice and easy to dig into. So all I have to do is just take it and just stick the root side down. Like I said, I'm going about every two, two inches or so. And then once I get done with another row, I'll even come in and plant the center portion. Just kind of do one at the diagonal there or whatever. And that seems to maximize out the space. So in this bed right here, we're only gonna plant onions on this side. Here shortly, in about a couple weeks, we're gonna come out and we're gonna direct sow some lettuce over there. All right, well, we got them all planted. And, and I do wanna just cover a couple other things. So one question you may be having is, well, you guys planted those really, really close. And yes, we did, but we do that on purpose. Uh, as I was saying before, once these things start growing and they start getting to a point where you can actually pull them and, and have them for like a green onion, I, you know, for like your dinner salad or, or, or for whatever recipe you're, that you have, that's when we come out here and we'll start picking these ones in between, which will allow the other ones around it, the ones that are remaining, to get bigger, especially when it gets to that bulbing stage where they can really get big. They, you need to have give them a little bit more room for that. We're gonna kind of get a two for one here. We're gonna come through, get all the green onions we want, and then hopefully get some big bulb onions later in the season. Now, the only thing left that we have to do is we need to get this mulched in, and then we'll get it watered, and they should be good to go. So. We're going to use just some some compressed uh, straw that we got from the big box store. This stuff's been, I don't know if it's been cooked, but it seems like it's definitely been, uh, I can't think of the word. And it's been processed in some fashion. Um, 
So I'm hoping that that means we won't have a whole bunch of seeds and those kind of things. We've used straw in the past and um, didn't really like how it kind of turned out. So we are hoping this is going to be a little bit better this year. And really all you're trying to do is just cover the ground. So, and the reason why you cover it is to, number one, keep the, the soil moist, sun off the soil, and it just kind of helps with some of the, uh, the biology eventually in your raised bed when it comes to all the things trying to break down and leach off nutrients and those kind of things. All right, and here we are, we're just giving it a nice gentle soaking. And we'll just do this and we'll make sure these things are watered in really good today, tomorrow, the next day. And then you'll just have to kind of look to see how, how the plants look at that point if you need more water or not. All right, got it all watered in. And uh, we are looking forward to having some awesome homegrown onions. So if you guys ever decide to uh, go out and get some, like I said, these are available at your box stores. We order these online. You can get them any place that you're really looking for. Sometimes they're in sets like this, and sometimes you just see like uh, onion bulbs, which are about, you know, just the onion portion of it, not the, the big tail. All of it gets planted very easily, all in the same configuration that we did. That's how we've done them. We've done these for the last couple of years, but we've done bulbs before as well, and they work just as good. But guys, thanks for coming back, watching our videos all the way through. If you guys have any suggestions or any questions, make sure you leave those down in the comments. And of course, if there's anybody that you know out there that would may like this content, make sure you share it with them and make sure that they uh, know that we're here and that uh, uh, we'll have more videos to come. So guys, thanks for coming back, watching all the way to the end. Appreciate it. Uh, and from our homestead years, have a blessed day and we'll catch you in the next video. Bye.